you should definitely get these best items in white orchard as soon as possible i'm telling you how to get the best swords the best armor etc stay tuned what's up guys my name is frankie boy and on this channel you can expect everything regarding open world rpgs such as the witcher 3 and today we are gonna be looking at some of the best items in white orchard first up a little bonus tip is like do the quest at willis and then you can almost immediately not craft this one up great your Kermohan armor for a very low price like you need some materials and the cost of the crafting would be for level one like i think 20 bucks or so and then you will get the warrior's leather jacket which is a, an improvement of the Kermohan jacket just get it as soon as possible do the willis quest he is here in the valley uh, in the village uh, and you find him at the hosong Bosong bridge so we are going to be talking about the best items in white orchard except that and let's start with the armor and then go on move on to the swords the blades that will make Geralt move and you can uh, clearly see this merchant right here at the bridge and also the <laughs> the torch yeah I had to kill him because he spawns every time for me don't kill cows if you don't want a torch so this merchant he's right at the Warsong bridge and you can talk to him and he actually offers the best armor in white orchard so that's how you get it you just buy it from him it's the Temerian armor in my case level 56 in your case it might be level 4 I guess so you can get that by grinding through white orchard and um, yeah collect all the crowns I think you need about 1000 or 800 in total and you can totally collect that in your playthrough um, because you have so many places that you can loot and so many um, nice items to get so easy easy game easy laugh okay let's move on to the swords and we actually want to go to the ransacked village for that so follow me around all right so we just spawned in the ransacked village and we want to move onwards at the water and uh, keep our distance to this kind of fort and uh, we'll cross the bridge. I will show you the same thing on the map right now so you can follow me. You spawn in the ransacked village and you go all the way to the west at this path. Cross the bridge and right here where I am you can change the path um, and actually go northern and as you can see on this path we can find a way up to this fort and this fort is actually protected by bandits i think they are four one over here you can push him down with art and some others over here just make sure to use art it's like a nice tip to do at this location and then you can loot the recipe for the first blade right in this chest i already looted it but i think it's quite easy for you to find this is the location on the map if you want to check that out so um here you can find the first recipe it's actually the viperous steel sword and we will craft it later on in this video all right for the next sword we move on to the mill in uh white orchard and it's quite easy to find because we all know this place of power i guess it's one of the first places of power i always visit and i pick them all up so here's the mill here's the hosung bridge and you you go down here into the cellar and uh, you have to fight a ghost right here so make sure to use Irden it's your uh, your purple spell yeah so if you're a beginner just make sure to use that and the enemies should be in the Irden to actually receive damage and here you will actually meet some more of them and you have to kill them all and in this body I think you can loot the next recipe it's the silver sword it's the viper silver sword and um, it's the best one until level 8 yeah so you don't find another one that might fit your needs until that level and this is just an awesome sword to pick up for white orchard and the start of the game i guess so you right now want to craft this and it's quite easy you have to go to the nilf guardian garrison so you can't craft it in this village at willis because he's actually a blacksmith for armor and we have to visit a sword smith so the nilf guardians they have that guy and you just go up here move along all these nilf guardians and then you're at the quartermaster and he can craft something for you which are actually the weapons we just found the recipes for and it's the viper silver sword and also the viper steel sword so i have the prefix legendary why is that it's because i'm in new game plus when you start a new game plus you get the prefix legendary so it's quite clear that if you have some weapons from your normal game so you, you you finish the normal game you play through all the story you keep your weapons and they are like 
Viper Steel Sword then, or the Grandmaster Viper Steel Sword, etc. And when you turn into New Game Plus, all the old weapons will have the same name, and the new ones, the New Game Plus weapons, will have the prefix Legendary, so you just can, um, you just know how that one works. And this is how you get all the best weapons in White Orchard. You just have to go to Willis at level 1, you get your first armor upgrade, then you collect all the money and all the recipes, craft the steel sword and the silver blade right here, and then you, like, finish all the, the, the um, places and so, and, uh, yeah, then you can loot enough to go to this merchant at the bridge and buy the armor. Then you have, like, the top tier gear from White Orchard. There's nothing better to find. I think you should all collect it and it's quite easy to find and uh, White Orchard in general is a pretty nice area. I like it very much as much as I like you. I hope uh, you learned something today and if so, feel free to subscribe for more Witcher content, RPG content. See you in the next one. Goodbye! Wir chillen auf Plätze erst und jagen das Tier rein. Wilde Jagd ist kalt wie